lot of times we talk about rotation as an athlete or an individual, and often an individual gets it from the lumbar spine, which is not ideal. And so to facilitate the thoracic rotation capabilities, uh, a lot of times we need to create length in the sagittal plane so that we can access the other two planes. Uh, what I want to show you is a couple of strategies that we use with Viper Pro in order to create stability, mobility, and endpoint strength. And so the first one, we're going to reduce axial load. Uh, so I'm going to get into a nice wide position, whatever wide means for you, in my feet. And I'm going to have uh, the Viper Pro offset to one side. So let's say it's more towards my right side. I'm going to get into a lateral lunge position and I'm going to start to stack or try to stack my knee, my nose, my knees and my toes one on top of each other. From there, I'm going to use a downward push with my right hand to create a stacking of my scapula so it can go through posterior tilt. From there, I want to set kite. Kite is long spine, wide shoulders, chin is tucked. So I get into this position right here. So now I should have a long spine, and by pushing down with the right hand, I should get some thoracic extension. From here, the bottom hand is going to come somewhere towards the base of the Viper Pro. So now I'm in a long spine position, and I've got four points of contact with the ground. From there, I'm gonna take my top hand and reach it over slightly. This is going to induce a little bit of type one motion in the T-spine. From there, I can do a forced exhalation, which is blowing everything out of my lungs. Okay, I bring my top hand back and then I reset. What that's allowing me to do is get into a position of thoracic extension, a little bit of lateral flexion and rotation in the T-spine, coupled with that breathing pattern of forced exhalation to increase motor control of the type one motor units. This is really good to enhance stability, mobility in the T-spine, and postural strength or end position strength. So again, offset, okay, get into a deep knee position. Top hand is pushing down. Right? And then my base hand here is adding and providing a pivot point for contact. With a tall spine and kite, I bring the top hand across. I breathe out fully and then I get back to a neutral position and then I can repeat that pattern a number of times. This is a great way to create uh, a unloaded spine and to get more extension and rotation and then fuse that with some type 1 motor patterning with breath. Another one is getting into a staggered stance. So my left foot is a little bit further forward than my right. Okay, I've got a soft athletic position in the knees and I'm taking my right hand and I'm driving my left hand up. So it is my bottom hand that's pushing the top hand up. From here, I'm gonna kick my hip to the side. That allows me to lean in the spine without side flexing in the spine. So I'm gonna lean into the spine, but not side flex. So if you look at my spine, it should still be very tall. From there, I'm gonna get into a type one position. So my right hand is pushing my left hand up. My left hand is now a pivot point, and I just drive laterally to the opposite side with my right hand. From there I breathe. And that percussive exhalation drives all of the air out and upregulates motor control of those postural type one muscles. So those are two, a regression and a progression on strategies to elicit motor control mobility and stability and strength in the thoracic spine. Use it as a preparatory measure. You can load it up with heavier loads to use it as a strength measure to increase the capabilities of an individual. Give it a try.